Uh, at 17 years old, I going to Rutgers University in, in 1981 and uh, life is an open canvas. I'm going there and my major was Africana Studies and uh, minored in music. That's kind of different. <laughs> Great thing about being on the Rutgers campus is that I didn't necessarily learn all of what I needed in the classroom, but I was provided some of the tools that I still use today uh, outside of the classroom from the different uh, programs that are offered there at Rutgers. So I'm, you know, I, I, I'm so grateful because throughout my life, I've had this great set of tools that I still access today and Rutgers kind of made that possible. So I'm finishing up my Rutgers degree. I'm in summer school and I get a phone call from the great Vaughn Harper of The Quiet Storm and WBLS. And he says that the Manhattans are looking for a female vocalist. And um, I go and do a three days, do a series of three days audition and got the job. I go on the road with the Manhattans for two years and they have this gig at Carnegie Hall. And they allow me to open up and I sing uh, Anita Baker, you bring me joy. And Joe McEwen hears that from Columbia Records and says, hey, do you want a record deal? And I say, of course. <laughs> I'm now a part of the Columbia uh, recording family and I'm approached um, by Don Eisner and he asked me if I would be interested in doing uh, a Disney tune. Well, this uh, coming right off of the success of Beauty and the Beast with Peebo Bryson and Celine Dion. So I'm, I'm thinking to myself, of course, I mean, I'd be stupid not to. So uh, they asked me who I'd like to do the duet with. But I said, well, um, Beauty and the Beast was fabulous, fantastic, and it won a Grammy. So if it's not broke, why fix it? So <laughs> I said, people will be just fine. Thank you. <laughs> so my song wins not one, not two, but four Grammy, as well as an Oscar. Mm -hmm. Rutgers was pretty much the framework or the, the springboard for me to get to this place in life, to be able to win the Grammy, to be able to go to all the places that you know I've been able to go to. I've uh, traveled the world, but Rutgers really was um, the beginning, the, the, my eye opener, uh, educationally speaking. I mean, I, I went to school with some of everybody and it really served to help me to learn how to get along with people, not just from where I'm from, but from other countries, from other cultures. And so I'm grateful to you, Rutgers University, for providing me with that. I can't believe after two years of putting in those last 15 credits, because you know I have a career, I have five kids, I have two grandkids, my husband and I are pastoring two churches, doing all that I'm doing. To come to this place today, to be able to walk across the stage and say, I did it. It took me 30 years, but I did it. 